Hello guys, it's Sensei Day here, and I'm back with another episode of Resident Evil 6. We're down to part 3. Uh, the summarized last episode in a few words or sentences. Leon is a track star, Bill Murray is the president, and the fog from Silent Hill is attacking. Anyway, let's continue on. Now, I wanna... Uh, okay, X is aim. X, X is aim. I'm retarded, apparently. X is reload. <laughs> Oh, I can do it. <laughs> See, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Is, uh, I don't know. I think, um, I don't know many games that do that. Uh, the only one I can think of off the top of my head is Max Payne. Is, uh, the Max Payne game. Some sort of fog. Oh my god. Like, and I just feel like this, this doesn't belong in a Resident Evil game. This is, this is dumb. Yes, as 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 Leon is talking to Elena, he is doing this. <laughs> okay, let's let's continue on. I actually like the design. Oh, oh no, that's not good. We're just gonna continue on. Uh, anyway. Last episode went pretty well. I mean, except for me getting trapped by in that, getting trapped in the elevator by Helena. I'm still getting used to this YouTube like talking thing, so that's why if I stutter or just kind of stop talking, that's just me being new to this. Which I'm sorry, which I'm sorry about. Anyway, didn't know if you guys knew this. I actually um, will do like future playthroughs and even this one. I do it blind. I don't know what's going to happen. I haven't read any walkthroughs or anything like that. I think uh, this game, I've played through it a little. Um, I never beat the game. I never even beat one of the characters' campaigns. I, Leon's... Up until, I think, after the campus is when I stopped playing. Which, I feel like I gave it a reasonable chance. Um, I actually don't remember what... I don't think I kicked a can... <laughs> is this how they introduced the first zombie? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. W why is my... Wait. Okay, going... I don't know if you guys saw, but the, my red light, which should be in the middle of the curse uh, crosshairs, was not in the middle. <sighs> well... <sighs> I still don't have fun fighting enemies in this game at all, but oh well. Mm. Oh, oh. oh, dang it, missed that shot. See, this is what I mean about the, uh, I said about the uh, zombie designs is that look, like, I don't know, they just don't, I don't, they don't seem really good to me. They just seem like boring. Yeah. Oh well. Dumb AI. I don't care. Oh, headshot. There we go. Finally, finally, I'm able to shoot. This episode is off to a great start. I barely know what to talk about. I guess I'm just so shell shocked by this game. I do remember there being herb somewhere. Oh, there it is. Um, I guess I'm just gonna wait till I get another one since I'm not, I'm in no he um, no hurry to heal. Now, I'm wondering, if I climb on something, will the zombies be able to attack me? I guess next uh, next time I see something climb, well, let's try it. Ooh, dark and spooky. I wonder what's going to happen. Ooh. Ooh. Now, there's something that, um, tanked this game. I, I remember playing through this, this part of the game. Oh. Uh. Why? Why? Why, why, why? So obviously, zombie right there, so let's just... Maybe I missed. It's just... Okay, didn't miss. This better not be a zombie. Okay, <laughs> that's what I wanted to show you, is that... If the enemy is on the ground and I guess not coming towards you, or I guess your red crosshair goes away, I'm terrible. Um, I guess you can't shoot him on the ground, which I think is a very bad bug. Um, 
I don't know bug or just terrible uh, game design on itself. Um, I say this because in uh, Dead Space, you have the kinetic kinetic energy where um, you can use that to uh, pick up objects off the ground. Say that that little thing right there, and you you can use it to try and pick up dead enemies. Now, the great thing about that was that if you tried to pick up an enemy, let's say him, and he wasn't dead, then he wanted to get picked up and you'd know he was alive. The other thing Dead Space did was Dead Space, when you shot an enemy on the ground, and if he was alive, he would get up and try and attack you. Where, in this game, they have to be triggered by you walking by them. Uh, no, Leon uh, went to the school of wrestling knows all the moves. I have 27, 26 bullets, and probably the clip. Oh, there goes more, 36. Which, is actually quite a bit of ammo, I must say. Now, we do have these. What's, oh, we have a first aid spray. I did not know we had that. Let's, uh, combine. And store in case. Screw it. Let's use one. Okay, there we go. I don't feel the need for uh, replenishing my health all the way because I know because I'm terrible at aiming that I'll just lose some so might as well keep it for a later date. See, so far in this game I've seen a lot of events like this one that triggered by you walking by an enemy or something falling. I don't know, or enemies getting up. I don't necessarily like that because they're really it's really easy to see when you just see a body and you walk by it and either it gets up or it falls. I don't that doesn't seem scary to me. I don't know. This game just doesn't seem Resident Evil like to me. I know you, I'm sure most of you know that. I wonder if there are any survivors. Probably not, Leon. Since everybody, everybody that we've met is dumb or stupid. We had the. Uh, oh, I did not see him there. Oh. We met someone who uh, has tried to find his daughter. And was like infected by the fog. Whose daughter ended up he he daughter ended up dying, coming back to life and killing him. The only other thing Ah, oh, she's gonna jump up, isn't she? Yeah. Still bad at aiming. Uh what was I gonna say? We had um yes, the uh, guy and his daughter, and then we had the person with the help sign. I just want to test something out here. Uh, I'll cut this. I'm going to cut this if what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to put a cut there. Um, you, you get the skill things, the skill things like the chess pieces, and I don't exactly know what they're used for. I just tried to go into the uh, end game, like, see where this, to see if I could do anything with them, but no. So maybe it's one of the, like, a stage thing where at the end of the stage you can upgrade or something with the skill points. I don't know. I don't think I don't think I've beaten a, a a chapter or a stage in this game. So we have a line here. Let's check out this room. Um, I do hear zombies nearby. Let's continue on. I don't see anything in this room. Oh, shoot. There we go. Finish it off. I can't see. Oh, well, we're just gonna karate. Okay, nope, it died. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I ran over a dead body, or not dead body, but a zombie's, uh, what do you call it? Body on the ground. Anyway, I tripped. I guess you trip over it dead bodies oh, I'm so bad I'm, I'm sorry guys now this so does the red does that not stay in the middle or something oh they actually move Ooh. Okay. oh that was actually my bad shouldn't have went for the uh, karate kick in yet but let's see oh 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 god. Stomp. Kick. Kick. He's dead. Stomp him. 
Oh, this is. I'm gonna say I'm doing really bad accommodating this episode. I'm terribly sorry. It's very dark. It's very dark in this level. I've noticed. This hasn't been. I don't know. This game just is very depressing to me. There's just not that much fun about it. I guess that's why I'm having a harder time um, concentrating. If you guys know what the skill points are for, please leave in the comments. That would be great. Thank you. So we're gonna move on. Mm. Roger. I don't know how I feel about Elena. I guess she's okay. Get to the security gate. It'll lead you off the campus. Okay, I'm just gonna run. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You, you trip over, like, bides or anything on the ground. Yep, nope, just running. I'm a track star. Leon is a track star, confirmed. Do, do, do. Run again, the gate's locked. Oh, well, the gate's locked. Sorry, not from here. I'm wondering, because I know in um, Resident Evil 5, which I, I, I liked it, is that, um... Oh, they had like item management with the uh, in Resident Evil the, the cache case. I don't. I think I know that was Resident Evil Four. I can't remember what it's called. If that's what the same thing in Resident Evil Five is. Um. Anyway, I don't know if this game has it. It doesn't seem like it because I haven't seen any indication that my partner has any ammo ammo limitations or has to like abide by the same like has if she has infinite ammo or not. The trigger finger ready. Sorry about that. Controller, my controller just disconnected for some weird reason. So we have some bodies here. Which? Why? I don't know. That's just a weird thing. They added the tripping, but they didn't add where you can like shoot enemies on the ground. That to me just seems weird. How many herbs? Oh, we have two. Let's combine them again. Shall we? See, I didn't really like this at first, like the whole thing, but I guess I'm getting used to it now. I didn't know I picked up grenades. Oh, well, we'll just wait till a clusterfuck of zombies come and then we'll just use it. And again, the door's locked. There's no, There's no point. I'll just wait till they're in this room in a close area and just pop them all. I guess this way they give you such an absurd amount of ammo right now, 52, just because they know that you're going to be fighting a lot of zombies. This is pure. This to me seems purely. Um, able to just like waste all of your ammo. That's what this kind of area seems. What what? I feel like that's what you're supposed to do is just drain your ammo, which I picked up a lot. So I don't feel like aiming. It doesn't matter. Look. This is some pretty tight security for a college campus. It is pretty tight, huh? Oh god, that's why. Why did they make it so you can trip on enemies? I don't know. I'm gonna just gonna call this point boring commentating because that's what all I'm doing. Oh, god. This it's combat in this game. It's not fun. <laughs> it's really not fun. I don't. I don't. I don't. I still don't understand why the um why the red curse on my thing is moving. Is it like? Maybe auto aiming towards an enemy's head. I just missed every one of those shots. I I feel very bad about myself now for that. It's open. Get out of there we go. Now. Oh wow, this is fun. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did it have this? It's surprising I actually ended up with quite a bit of ammo. So let's heal up real fast here. Screw it. I'll top off right there. I'll leave two left. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's talk about the story of this game, shall we? Which we don't really know that much about. Pretty much, um, we shot the president and Helena told us that she had a hand. That she caused all of this. Now, whether that is to be true is to be seen. Turns out <laughs> I'm having a really hard time talking. Now, 
oh, I've played through this part. I'll say it. you guys already know I played through some of this game, and I don't necessarily like is that these turn into zombies, but why would they not attack us now? I don't I don't understand that because they wait for you to pick up the key card before they attack you, which to me seems very odd. Like like um right here. Why wouldn't they just attack me? Oh, there it is. Now these, I, I didn't know what this is. You pretty much shoot those. Well, you unlock fires and figures. And I won't be shooting all those. One, because I don't know where they are. Two, because that's a big waste of time. Because I'm never going to, because I don't really enjoy this game. But I will be playing it because, I don't know. I just like Resident Evil. I like the series and I just feel like I need to play it. Uh, oh, God. Damn it. Well, my controller is going haywire. It shows the battery's not empty, but yet it's turning off and on. But if you guys didn't know, the battery turned off and the game did an auto pause because it has this, probably the worst thing ever. And so it didn't auto pause, so I was getting attacked. I cannot tell. Yep, well, what a big fucking waste. Oh, God, I f fucking. It's got great, cam great camera angles. Oh god, just please leave this room. Who opened that door? That was closed and we boarded it up. Who cares? You know what? I'm out of this. Track star time. Come on, Leon. You can Leon, you can do it. See, his track star days were preparing him for this. And you know, he did hurdles too. See, I'm telling you, Leon, Leon's made for the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to throw it at me and <laughs> oh come on Helena please please thank you thank you oh my god come on <laughs> oh god uh, let's look around quickly they are trapped should have known better You know what there's not? There's a surprisingly lack of cutscenes. Let's move on. Uh, I think there's a zombie, like, right in here. I don't feel like fighting. Let's just... Well, that actually worked out. I fucking got hit. Fuck this game. I'm gonna call this... I don't know. I feel like infinite ammo in this episode is great, since they've been giving me a shit ton of ammo. Nope. Who cares? Nope. Don't care. You're almost there. Keep running. Guess what? Yep, just keep running. Don't need to tell Leon that. He's already a track star. See, uh, this is this is. I'm gonna. Fuck off. Fuck off. I think we just found our right out. Of oh my god. Wow, an abandoned police car. Damn it, no keys. Oh yes, no keys. Up, oh, please. Just check. Oh god, fuck off. There we go. Let's check in the uh, glove compartment. No, nothing. Why I'm talking like this, I don't really know. I'm going Should to stop go? now. Hold on. Found the keys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know anybody who leaves keys up there. Uh, if you do, please leave in the comments. Oh, I guess the cop is not very happy. Oh, we stole his car. It's clear behind us. Back up. Are those dog tags? You buckled in? Yeah. Are they? Yeah, you see, uh, right on the, uh, mirror. Yeah, they look like... Do the police here have dog tags? Wasn't quite sure. Oh, well, looks like we left. Now let's just drive to the church. Without getting killed. <laughs> they're fucking... They're dead. Both of them are dead. <laughs> so, um, they're both dead. Somehow he flipped the car, um, and the car exploded with him in it. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> ooh, the sewers. Oh my god, that fucking, ugh. 
Fuck this game. And and it's health. I hate the health system in this game. Hop. I'm fine. What's the matter? Not a fan of sewers? Come on, let's just get to the cathedral, and then I'll tell you everything. My old enemy weapons are going to right. I'm going to tell them everything. Everything we know about the Raccoon City incident. But sir, a lot of people are questioning my desire to reveal the truth. I know where they're coming from. It might create more problems than it solves. A lesson I learned well in the military. Bioorganic weapons are a global threat, and we are partly to blame. We have to come clean and start working with the rest of the world if we want to have any chance of fighting this. Whatever you decide, sir. I'm with you. I've always valued your friendship, Leon. It's time we take responsibility and end this mess. It's gonna be a tough road. Okay, guys, so I'll probably just cut out the loading screen. Let's get moving. We don't have much time. Certainly got our work cut out for us. Believe me, I know. Okay, guys, I'm going to end it here. It's been a very uninter uninteresting episode, I gotta say. Um, it partly because of my bad commentating, I'll take some blame for that. Partly because this game is complete dog shit, and it's not fun to play. But hey. Um, yeah, I got hit a shit ton, used all my health except the first aid spray. Anyway, to sum up this episode, uh, Ninja Kicks. N Leon is a ninja. Um, explosions. Cool guys don't look at explosions. Um, these two will probably survive any kind of explosion and crash they get into, and... Don't jack a cop's ride. That's been it. So, if you like this video, please subscribe. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter. And if you want to, add me as a friend on through Xbox or PSN. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Cincy Day Plays.